Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation and it's special. Thanks, guys. Uh, the second fight of the night, the first fight on the live transmission on Saturday night, Sky Sports and the zone around the world. This is another cracking fight. Two undefeated fighters. That This fight got made very late in the week, and I'll go on to explain that shortly. But we had someone up here earlier with an incredible following, with a great Ricky Hatton, with his son Campbell Hatton turning pro. This man to my right, Florian Marku, I'm not sure I've seen such support, such passionate numbers so many people sliding in my DMs, initially with a little bit of stick, you know, now with a little bit of love, because we're delighted to welcome Florian Marku to the Matchroom team. And social media is so powerful, because the man to my left stepped up a couple of days ago and got himself a big payday and a big fight and a massive opportunity to create a name for himself. Florian Marku v. Jamie Stewart, the first fight of our live transmission on Saturday night. To give you a little bit of perspective, we made a fight with Florian Marku earlier in the week. Um, unfortunately, I think his supporters scared the gentleman off a little bit and he decided that he had a rib, rib injury just a few hours later, which was quite convenient. We tried to make the Chris Congo fight, unfortunately he couldn't make weight and all of a sudden, Jamie Stewart piped up on social media. I think he said he was gonna cave his head in at one stage, but you know, I know that was just to get the fight, we'll come on to that. that is but this is an opportunity of a lifetime for fighters that are willing to take risks and take gambles. Jamie, we'll start with you. Welcome, welcome. Big fight Thank for you. you, big stage. You stayed yeah. ready, you got the call, you're here. Well, I've been ready since September, since my last outing with Hennessy Jr. It, it was middleweight, got called it light middleweight because I couldn't make the weight. But uh, yeah, I did what I had to do to get the fight because I wouldn't not want to, you know, like sometimes the boxer might not fight because of someone pulling out. So I thought I could grab an opportunity to get back out there and people see who I am and what I've got. Those opportunities for, for fighters like you, you know, not coming through with, you know, the GB experience, the ABAs, the Olympic background, you've got to take those chances when they come. We oh, saw you on Channel 5 beating Mick Hennessy, you were a junior, you were a way fighter there, you came on, you'd done the business in a really good performance. How much more is there to come from I you? I feel that there was more because I took that fight on a two-week notice. I weren't really training for that fight where since after that fight, I've been in the gym every day, non-stop. I'm, I've been down lower than the weight that I am now today. So I feel very comfortable and I know he's dangerous and that's all that I want for my supporters. I, I've been saying for months now, I don't want to fight journeyman no more. I need a test and a challenge and I know he's a big puncher and that's just like something I'd like risk. Well, he is all action, he is a big puncher, but this is the biggest of stages. I mean, this is the World Heavyweight Championship undercard. This is live on Sky Sports Box Office, live on the zone. Are we going to see you go out there and enjoy yourself, have fun? I mean, a win for you here, I can't tell you how big a win for you would be. Talk about life changing. This is, this is a game changer for you. Even a good performance yeah. is a game changer for you. I've got that many people following back home now. I've got to go out and put a good show on here. I've got a lot of, there's a lot of boxers in Stoke that are not with my gym, but I think they're fake boxers that sell tickets and get the easy fights. So I'm, I want to be there fighting decent fights. I want to be there showing that I'm tough and I'm there and I'm ready. Florian, got a, we know the man called the fight out. You've got to give him the respect for taking it. Many others wouldn't. Ross in, in the office went through 40 opponents and they all turned this opportunity down before Christmas, live on TV. Um, not going to be easy for you on Saturday. We know this, this man is undefeated. We know he hasn't had many fights, so therefore he doesn't have much fear, which should lead to a fantastic fight on Saturday. Yes, thanks. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for putting me in this show. I have been waiting this moment a long time. Thanks also to Joshua. About the opponent, I didn't understand really good what he was talking about, but I, I've been training really hard. This is my moment, you know, and... I don't care who is in front of me. I don't see opponents. I see only someone who tries to stop me from reaching my dreams and making my family lives better. You know, that is boxing is for me to make my, lives, my family lives better. We talked earlier in the week with Sam Jones and, and thanks for all his help as well 
in, in joining the team and also uh, for this fight, the support you have is quite incredible. You know, when you started telling me in the week about the potential of fighting in Albania, filling up football stadiums over there, that's the kind of stuff as a business and as a company we live for and we yes. dream about. How real is that? I mean, we know you've got a tough fight on Saturday, but this support is like something that we've never seen before. Yes, the thing is that the UK fans doesn't know really good my, my background. I'm not new in this game. I have been fighting since I was 12 years old. I have given 110 kickboxing fight. I was four times world champion. You know, it's not new for me. The, my fans have been following my career from the beginning. I have been fighting a lot of times in Europe, and, but my Albanian fans make the difference. You know, they, they, they fill stadiums wherever I have been, and I appreciate that. Now I will win with my performance and my character, also the UK fans. I'm really happy. And when I will fight back home, I guarantee that I will feel whatever arena is back. We know Jamie will bring the smoke on Saturday, but you want all the smoke, don't you, at 147 pounds? I mean, Chris Congo, Josh Kelly, Connor Ben, it doesn't matter. You want to face all these guys if you get through on Saturday. Exactly. I want to fight whoever thinks that is the best welterweight in this division. Don't, don't bring me guys that they have bad record and good fighters. Bring me the best guys that they have best records and you see what I'm going to do to them. When they are in the ring with me, they change. Maybe before, before the ring they talk, I'm going to do this to Florian, but when they are in front of me, everything changes. When they feel my speed and my power, they change their mind. And you're going to see this first Saturday and then the next fight. Congratulations to Jamie Stewart who, who accepted the fight. Respect for that, but I'm sorry for Saturday. Well, I know that two great guys, two undefeated fighters. This is going to be all action to kick us off on Saturday night. Gentlemen, let's have a head-to-head -head up here, please. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free, impartial advice on all your debt. <laughs> 